Hello, everybody. We are live on the Lamley YouTube channel. Nice to see everyone who is here. I'm going to give it a few seconds. I want you guys to give me a thumbs up if the connection is good. I want this one to be a good video for everyone to watch because I am as excited as you are. This box is sealed. Should probably, here, just in case I'm going to cover up my address so we can get to it. Um, hopefully those of you who uh, have seen that I scheduled this video a few hours ago, I have definitely been talking about this box on Instagram and Facebook and on the community here on YouTube. This is my holy grail, legitimately my die cast holy grail. I did not think I would ever get it. Here's the deal. This box is sealed, so I hope it's in there. So we're going to discover all of this together. I'm going to show you what it is. Many of you have been guessing. You've been guessed some Hot Wheels Grails. You've guessed some Matchbox Grails, some other brands. Lots of different things. Now, let's talk about Holy Grails really quick because I want to build the suspense a little bit. I mentioned some hints. I mentioned that this is a retail release. This is something that was in stores. I mentioned that it's not a variation. So it's not some really rare variation like some of you mentioned. Um, uh, oh gosh, I can't remember. I'm not going to worry. It's not a, an error. It's not a pre-production or a prototype. This was just a standard model in stores. One of you guessed the number 271. Uh, what car was it? Hot Wheels car. Um, I did mention that it's not that, but that was a really, really good guess. This model I learned about several years ago. And I'm going to give you a little bit of background, then I'll give you the full story once we open it. Um, Jeff Koch, the toy pimp on Instagram, who I've known for a very, very long time, is the one who let me know about this model. He had heard about it. He has never seen it. Um, he learned about it and then told me about it. And I have only seen a couple of pictures. I know of one collector who has one. And then um, I've uh, kind of threw Jeff... Uh, found out a little bit more information about it, but I have been on the hunt for this both here in the United States via eBay, via every website I can find, and also in Japan and Asia, having people look for it. It finally uncovered itself several, several, um, well, several days ago, about a week ago, well, uh, a week and a half ago. Anyway, I saw it, I grabbed it, it has arrived, and we're going to open it. So um, here we go, guys. This is my Holy Grail, legitimately. A Holy Grail can't be like the Bugatti Chiron coming out from Hot Wheels. That's going to be a model. This is something that is just incredibly hard to find, something that you don't think you will ever find. And I had given up. In fact, I'll tell you a funny story about it um, here in a second once we open up. But here we go. Oh, I hope it's intact. I'm actually as nervous as, well, I don't know if you guys are nervous, but I'm actually quite nervous because I hope that this is intact. I hope that it's actually in this case. I hope that what I saw is what's in there. And so we're gonna find out. Okay. Some of you are saying the antifreeze yellow Silverado. That was a great guess. The only problem is that never went to retail. So from my hints, that wouldn't be the one. Some of you don't even know that one exists. I did mention that a lot of you don't know it exists. And so we'll see what your reaction is to this. But. Okay. Ha, <laughs> Oh, it's been double packed. All right. The suspense continues. Nothing in there. Sealed. Okay, and it's also wrapped here. 
Guys, I'm actually nervous. Look at that. I don't know if you can tell. I'm actually nervous. You, I cannot tell you how long I've been looking for this. Okay, this start might this might start giving you guys a hint. It's not very big. And here <laughs> is the Lamley Group John Lambert Holy Grail. That, and it's intact, and it looks great, and some of you did see it was guessed upon, that is the Yacht Supercar number 46 BRE Dotson. <laughs> now I know some of you might be going, what? What is that? Look at that ugly thing. What the heck? Well, guys, let me tell you a little bit about this. I have learned from Jeff Koch. This is the very first Datsun 510 number 46 BRE model ever made. Let's open it real quick here. I'm just going to rip it open. It looks a lot better out of the package. Just kidding. That's the green light. Um, so as you guys know, I'm going to put that down gently. The BRE Datsun has been a bit of a legendary car. The number 46 was always my favorite number, dating back to a kid. It had nothing to do with BRE, but I like the number 46. So when Hot Wheels released the BRE Datsun, what, about 10 years ago? Um, in the vintage racing series, I thought it was cool. That That's actually what introduced me more to the number 46 John Morton. And I've liked the BRE ever since. Now, I'm not alone in this, right? There is a million people. The BRE Datsun is kind of, especially in the Hot Wheels world, has taken on a life of its own. Um, we've had different numbers, but the number 46 uh, is the iconic one. And I have always liked having it. I've met John Morton. I had him sign one. I've done all that kind of stuff. But these were the two Hot Wheels. Then Greenlight put out a fantastic version of the number 46, including the uh, green machine, which I have kept, which I have collected. They've done other BRE models. I have not collected those. I just wanted the number 46, but it was in that process several years ago that my friend Jeff told me about, he said, did you know that there was one made about 30, 40 years ago? I said, no, I thought Hot Wheels was the first one. He said, yep, there's actually one. It's called the, it's by a brand called Yacht toy backwards. And he said, he said, I've never seen it. I know of its existence. I've seen a couple pictures of it. And he said, and there's a collector named Kimmo, K-I-M-M-O in Nevada who has one open. And, uh, and it was shared on an old diecast form that actually still exists called Swifty's Garage. He talked about this brand called Yacht. So we looked it up and I saw it. It's a rough casting, but it is in fact the very first predating the Hot Wheels by about 30 plus years. We don't know the exact date that this one was actually released. I asked Jeff, he said probably early to mid 70s that this was put out. Yacht is a Taiwanese company. And he said the only, I only knew a bit of its existence because there's a police version, which I have. And on the back, this is all we knew about. It said BRE Datsun 510 and it had this image. He said, so we knew it existed. Well, as soon as I learned about this car and I started doing some research on it, saw a couple of pictures in Japan of it, this became my instant grail. This is the model that I wanted. But I have looked and I've looked and I've looked and I've never seen it. Asked a lot of people about it. In my travels or in my searching, I did come across this one. This one actually is in a, a little bit of a better um, package, this police version. They did a police car and they did a couple other colors and um, was able to get it with the BRE in the back, and I was happy. Now, I got two cars when I did this, when I got these shipped over from Japan. I got this police version and a launcher set, which I actually put on Instagram about a week ago. Here's where the funny story is, is that 
I had this one and I had the launcher. I knew I wanted to keep this one, but I had given up on finding this one. And so I said, you know what? The launcher doesn't make a ton of sense. So I'm going to go and donate it to the gathering auction that was last week. Well, guess who won the auction? Jeff Koch. And, um, and, but what was funny is that the minute I issued or I sent the picture over to Jim Gallegos, who runs the event, I was like, you know, I haven't looked in a while to see if there's any other yachts that have come up on eBay. There's only a couple on there. There's actually a loose police car on there right now. And right, I'm not kidding, within 45 seconds of sending the text to Jim telling him I was donating it, I looked on eBay and there it was. It's like karma. It was like the diecast God said, give up something and we'll give you what you want. I did. This was here. I didn't even look at the price. I bought it. And now it is here. And my holy grail is here. And I'm still trembling just a little bit to finally have what will what is easily the rarest BRE dots in there is. I love the number 46 John Morton. And now I have, now there's probably some other little 164s that I need to get, but this is, I can easily complete the collection now that I have by far the hardest one to get. Am I opening it? Not a chance. I have a sterling protector ready for it. I'm not gonna put it in there right now because I wanna photograph it before I do. But I have my police car and I have now the BRE that's going to go into my BRE collection. So there you go, guys. That is my holy grail. I cannot believe I have it. I can't believe it's carded. By the way, I had never, I had seen pictures of it carded, never heard of it carded, and um, and there it is, carded. And I'd much rather, because of just the casting is so rough, and if you look at these, these are actually stickers. I'd rather have it carded because these stickers, you can see, are starting to peel. And I saw that in the picture. Um, here's the back of it. I said there's some writing on it. I actually asked the seller about it, and he said... Um, he said he got this. It came from Los Angeles. He got this as part of an inventory of a closed-down toy store well, a long time ago, and he's been kind of rolling some of that stuff out, so that's how I got it. <sighs> well, guys, hopefully this is exciting for you. I know some of you are going to go, it's not a Hot Wheels, it's not a Matchbox, I could care less, but I hope you're excited for me for getting it. Or maybe you're not. Maybe it's just a waste of your time, and if it is, I'm really sorry, but this is truly... This is pure excitement, guys, to finally have this particular model. I'm going to try and put it down because what if I dropped it, right? Value-wise, I have no idea um, how much. You guys want to know how much I paid for it? Like I said, I didn't even look at the price I bought it. It was $275. That's a lot. I have no idea if I wanted to turn around and sell it, if I can make that much. doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I'm keeping it. So there you go. Thank you everybody for watching. I have more videos to show later. I was gonna go through that big bin of cars, but then this thing arrived. Um, so I'm gonna do that tomorrow. Um, and I'll do some other stuff. Uh, I have some other videos, including Auto World coming up, but I wanted to open this one up live. And I hope you guys liked it. It's probably not production-wise my best video because I'm more focused on the fact that I got this. I'll look back at your comments later. High five to everyone. Thanks for watching. More to come. Bye.